next questioner is Tanya. Tanya, okay. She's been eagerly awaiting your response. <laughs> okay, let's see if one comes. Huh? She says that she's found that she cannot find a specific me. Cannot find a specific me? Yes. Okay. And that she knows that all words that she's speaking are not true. But they're so in it's so incredibly impossible for her to describe this experience that she's had of not finding a specific me. So she's going to try and describe it now. Okay. And I'm, I feel to use her exact words here, so I'll just okay. read it to you. Yeah, please, yeah. After inquiring much with who am I, no specific me has been found. There is no one to blame for any action, as there is no specific responsibility. It is as if I has lost itself. Okay. So what does she want to know now? At the same time, she sees that that which that which sees and is she feels a great relief is felt because something so serious and dedicated has somehow dissolved yes yes and actions the body does not does by itself doesn't matter anymore yes although i say i it is not believed as truthfully it's as if it's actually just a play. She feels that she has to tread lightly with these words that she's writing, but at the same time deciding what is to be written is not by anyone specific, nor is the observation. So she wants you to speak about what happened to her. I see. Because it seems that it happened in the past, and she feels that it's an experience that happened. Yes. She also feels that it comes up once in a while, but then it goes again. So yes. she just wants to know what She's happened. still the one who is observing the once in a wildness and, and the passing of that. You see? Don't waste time anything about this. This even this is an experience that occur, it's now finished, it's past. I would want to see her and to see where are you at now? You see? What is your now state? You see? Because you mention all these things. There are things that will happen. This these movements will occur. You're seeing that you're where you have placed your identity before in the form of a person or personality that this is really uh, not true there's no substance to it this is one of the early monumental discoveries an atomic discovery because now somehow all that all the world that has been created out of this limited identification of being a particular person all of that is collapsing because it has no power it has no potency and she's seeing that there's a seeing of that and uh, maybe a few tears might fall, but that's okay. That's also a scene. So now all of that is already brought you to a place where you are aware now that you know that's not the reality. That was a, that's a it's a kind of facade of who I thought I am. It's nothing at all. Now what remains now it must be just that which is not anxious to make words, it's not anxious to make teachings even, not anxious about anything at all. There's just a silence of perception and, and that's it. There's no nothing be like this, continue like this. Rest in this. Don't be looking at what's the another what's the next development of the mind. Nothing at all. Whatever the mind produces now, it is just a sort of there are images in consciousness. Now she says everything I speak sounds like it's not true. It's not real, it's not true, it has no lasting reality. So therefore, there is, no, there is no belief in that, there is no needing to cling to that. Who are you in spite of all of this now? You are just that consciousness, you are that awareness, that is really not coming and going. Once the waking state is here, the consciousness in its dynamic and fluid state appears and it will present today's meal, what's on the show today. What are we showing today that will occur in the presence of that unmoving awareness? That's all. You stay like this. Don't make any conclusions about this state. It's still a transitory state. And there are lots of transitions and movements and transformations that will, that will be stirred up and they will play out on the screen of consciousness. But you will more and more be seeing that there's an un unmoving being that underlies all these uh, moving uh, conditions and states and images, you see. So, don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Don't entertain any thought that something is wrong or that something is very right. Just keep quiet in yourself. Huh? 
Whatever you know now, let it come from the unknown, let it come from the depth of your being. Don't go scratching your head about anything at all. All things are being uh, mm, prepared for you. You know, when I say like this, whatever you need to know, this will come by itself. You don't have to go running for it. If you need to meet someone, don't have to go running. Don't go look, don't go searching the internet for anybody. Everything will come for you like that. Don't worry. But you are now in a beautiful state, you will accept what comes. You're not anymore going shopping for your daily bread of existence. Everything will come for you. But you not care about it so deeply. But now you see that now I don't have to go out with my shopping bag mind to go and get some experience. Whatever is needed will come. If, if this body needs to go, then an urge will come inside this body and will bring that body to where it needs to go. She will confirm this for herself.